Today's agenda is to cover the following topics. The first topic is what is C++. Second is history of C++. Third one is features of C++. And the last one is applications of C++. So in this video, we, we are going to cover these topics. Let's begin with our first topic and a very, very important topic that is what is C++. Here, what is C++? To learn C++ programming, we should understand first what exactly is C++. C++ is a general purpose and a free form of programming language. What do you understand by the word general purpose? Here general purpose means that, that C++ language can be used on various application domains like operating systems, browsers, games and so on. So that is why C++ is a known as a general purpose programming language second point is it also supports object oriented language here object oriented means that that c++ supports oops concepts like encapsulation abstraction inheritance so on so we will read about these uh, oops concepts in the upcoming video Second is that it is a procedural language. Here procedural means that the program is broken down into small small modules. That is why it is known as a procedural language. And third one is that, that it is a generic programming as well. Here generic programming means that, that the particular code is given a general behavior or you can say a common behavior which is not dependent on any type. So that particular code can be used on various situations that is known as a generic programming. C++ is a widely used programming language. Why it is widely used programming language? Because it can be used for developing operating systems, browsers, games. That is why it is a widely used programming language. The fourth but the most important point is that, that it is a multi-paradigm language. Here, multi-paradigm means that, that it, there are different styles of programming like general purpose, object oriented, procedural, generic. These all are the styles of programming and C++ supports all these styles of programming. That is why it is known as a multi-paradigm language. So, developer can use any of these styles to develop the software. Now, the next topic is that, that it the most important topic that is history of C++. Now C++ programming language was developed by Bjarne Staustrup and his team in 1979 at his Bell Laboratories of New Jersey. When C++ was created, it was not called as C++ initially. It was called as C with classes. Now what was the reason for the development of C++? Initially, when C came into the market, then year by year, computational tasks were increased and due to which the programming complexity was also increased. So, Bernie thought that, that there is a requirement for the development of new programming language. So, he started working with his team and added some new features in C language. And the most important feature which he added is object oriented programming and that led to the development of new programming language known as C with classes. Now the idea of adding this uh, new feature that is object oriented in C with classes came from came from the already existing object oriented language known as a similar 67. Now C with classes are basically a programming language that contains the features of both the languages that is C and as well as similar. So therefore it is a better programming language for performing the complex operations. And in 1983 C with classes was renamed as C++. Now let's understand the history of C++ more clearly through the diagrammatic representation. In 1979 the C with classes was developed at Bell Laboratories. In 1983, the C with classes was renamed as C with C++. In 1985, the first edition of C++ was released. 
In 1983, the second version of C++ was released. In 1998, the C++ Standard Committee published the first ISO standard known as C++ 98. In 2003, some improvements were done on the first ISO standard that is C++ 98 and made a new revision and released a new version that is C++ 0. In 2011, the first and the major, major version of C++ was released known as C++ 11. In 2014, some improvements were done on C++ 11 and the new version was released that is C++ 14. Let's understand the features of C++ now. This is a very very important topic guys. The first most important feature of C++ is that it is an object oriented programming language because it follows the OOPS concepts like abstraction, inheritance, encapsulation. The second very important feature that it is a very simple language. Why? It is a simple language because C++ is a structured programming language in which program is broken down into small small modules which is easy to understand. The third feature which is also very important that it is a platform dependent means when we create a program on one operating system we cannot run that particular program on different operating system therefore it is a platform dependent language the fourth very important feature of c++ that it is a mid level programming language why it is a mid level programming language because c++ has the ability to do low level as well as high level programming that is why it is known as a mid level programming language the fifth very important feature of C++ that it is a structured programming language which we already discussed. The next very important feature of C++ is that rich in library. C++ contains various inbuilt libraries like IOStream, IOManic, various other li libraries are, are also available in C++. Now the seventh very important feature of C++ is that, that memory management. C++ supports dynamic memory allocation which means that we can allocate or deallocate the memory at runtime that is known as a memory management. The next important feature of C++ is that it is very powerful and fast language. Why it is powerful and fast language? Because it takes less compilation and execution time that is why it is a fast language. And this is a very very important feature that it supports pointers. Pointers are basically the variables that hold the address of another variable. That is known as a pointers. When we uh, have given some problem that needs the memory access. In that case, we have to use the pointers. The next important feature of C++ is that, that it is a compiler based. What is compiler based? Here compiler based means that that it requires compilation before execution which means that we cannot execute the uh, program without compiling the program. The last but not the least this is a very important feature of C++ that it is a syntax based language means C++ follows of very strict rules and regulations like in English also to create a sentence we need to use punctuation conjunctions to create a sentence. If you do not follow these, then our sentence will be wrong. In the similar case with C++, if we do not follow the predefined syntax, our statement will be wrong and compiler will show a syntax error. So that is known as a syntax, syntax based language. So these are the very important features of C++. Now let's look at the another topic which is a very important topic. Applications of C++. Now, some of the applications of C++ are given here. That first application is games. C++ can do low level programming. So, it becomes a primary choice to opt the C++ language to make the gaming applications. The second important application of C++ is that, that it is a GUI based application. 
it, it can develop both GUI and desktop applications like Adobe system, Illustrator, Photoshop, they all are written in C++. The third most important application of C++ is operating system. Various operating system have been developed in C++ like Apple OS and various softwares of Microsoft are also written in C++ like Microsoft Office and Visual Studio. And the fourth important uh, application of C++ is browsers. Various browsers are also written in C++ like Mozilla and various Google apps also like Google File System and Chrome browser. Now the fifth important application of C++ is banking application. As C++ supports multi-threading so it becomes a good choice or a good option to create a banking application in C++. Like Infosys Finacle is a banking uh, application which is also written in C++. The next important application of C++ is cloud or distributed system. Nowadays a cloud storage system are working very close to the hardware. So C++ is a good choice to implement the, these cloud systems. The next important application of C++ is compilers. Now various compilers of high level progr uh, programming languages are also written in C++ like Dev C++, Visual C++, Borland C++ and various other compilers also. They all are written in C++. And the last and very important application of C++ is database. MySQL, Postgres, they all are written in C++. So this is all about the application of C++. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, then please like and subscribe it.